the bondage of religion is tough. That is why Jesus said we should pray, according to Paul's instruction in Ephesians, for light. You can't counsel a person out of religion. They would start praying for you. I can forgive, but I cannot forget. Be like God. Forgive and forget. That's how you carry years of hatred in your spirit. It will stop the flow of the anointing in your life. Leave strife. Leave envy. Bitterness. Let these things go. They will stop God's work in your life. I'm not telling you that um, the sat Satan does not exist. His existence is inconsequential. We deal with him when we find him. That's what I'm saying. So go out there and say, hey, this pastor does not believe in devil. No, I don't believe in devil. I believe in Jesus. There's a difference between knowing something exists and believing in something. You know when Jesus says, I'll build my church and the gates of hell will prevail. Are you not part of that church? Come on, are you not the church? So what is Jesus saying? I will build you and the gates of hell will not prevail against you. So why are they prevailing against you? Because you're not being built up by God. How are you not being built up by God? Paul tells us, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. So if you are not receiving the word of grace, you will not be built up and you will not receive your inheritance. So the devil can prevail over you.